So why in the world do trucking companies not recruit newly licensed drivers? I mean, this is driving everybody crazy. I mean, how is somebody supposed to get two years of experience if nobody's willing to recruit the truck driver? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over why in the world trucking companies do not recruit newly licensed drivers. This video is gonna teach you guys out there, newly licensed drivers, how in the world to find a trucking job as a newly licensed driver. We're also gonna talk about why do companies not recruit truck drivers with less than two years of experience you need to understand why before you can actually get yourself a job and we'll talk about your first three months what to expect when you start working as a newly licensed driver for a company so, so the first thing let's talk about why in the world do trucking companies not hire brand new drivers well first things first we'll talk about the insurance okay insurance companies do not want to insure brand new drivers why well because the same thing like when getting a license 17 year old gets his brand new license and they're a lot more likely to have a claim within the first year of being on the road so the exact same thing with a truck driver when your first two years or your first year especially you're a lot more likely to get into an accident if you are a driver with two years of experience so the insurance companies are really starting to tightened down some insurance companies will allow it some insurance companies will have conditions to it and some insurance companies absolutely not they won't insure your fleet if you recruit brand new drivers now the claims the claims are a lot higher on new drivers so your probability of having an accident or your probability of something happening to you on the road is a lot more likely as a new driver than if you have two years under your belt so Small carriers, small carriers do not have blanket insurance where mega carriers or larger carriers, medium sized carriers, they have blanket insurance so they can hire new drivers if they choose to or if they want to. But a lot of the big carriers are also saying, you know what, no, if the driver doesn't have two years of experience, we're not hiring them. Next thing we'll talk about is violation rates. So a driver that is newly licensed is a lot more likely to get a violation on the road, whether it's speeding, handheld device, or going through a scale, getting put out of service, you are a lot more likely to get a violation. It could even be a weight violation, right? Not knowing how to do your axles properly. So you're a lot more likely to get a violation. Now, when a company has violations or multiple violations, okay, you guys need to understand this, that once it comes time to renew their insurance policy, so let's say a company pays $100,000 with insurance policies. Now, if they were to renew that insurance policy and they have a lot of violations on the road, that new policy is gonna cost them 120 or 130%. It is very normal for trucking companies in the open market to get 20, 30, 40% increases year over year but that is extremely damaging to their business. So you can choose, you either want to recruit new drivers or you can say, no, you know what? I don't want to take the risk. These new insurance premiums for having brand new drivers, I'll stick with drivers with two years of experience and I don't want to go through that. So a lot more likely to get violations on the road when you're a brand new driver. And you guys, professionals out there, I mean, you guys know this, that when you're a brand new driver, right, you're a lot more likely to get violations on the road. All right, so the next thing is the fender benders. So the fender benders, when a driver is out on the road um, and hits something or his bumper or hits his trailer or you know scratches his trailer there's a lot more you're a lot more likely to cause fender benders on the road um, when you're a new driver especially your first three months are very very critical but your first year also you know you're a lot more likely to have fender benders on the road um, as a newly licensed driver now the employment rules here in Canada and I think they're the same in the US they do not allow trucking companies to withhold pay from drivers so even if a driver caused an accident or has you know caused damages to his truck or caused damages to his trailer we're not allowed as trucking companies we're not allowed to withhold pay from that driver for that damage yes there's a lot of nonsense happening out there but if you're a Canadian driver and if you're on payroll nobody's allowed to withhold money from you even if you did scratch or even if you popped your tire so you're a lot more likely to get into fender benders within your first uh, within your first year of trucking than if you were an experienced driver so that's why trucking companies choose to steer away from newer drivers now let's talk about the amount of training that's involved in hiring a brand new driver so when you hire a brand new driver you really need to the proper training 
is you need to put them with somebody for about three or four months. There's a lot of training that gets in, that, that's involved in this. There's a lot of time and effort. T uh, teaching the driver how to run their logs, teaching the driver hours of service, teaching the driver the uh, you know proper PTIs, teaching the driver how to do um, you know uh, the weight distribution on his trailer, the pickup, the delivery, the paperwork, the bills of lading, the uh, you know the customs clearances. There's so much that's involved in training, and that training takes three or four months. Now another thing that trucking companies cannot do, they can't put a contract in place for enforcing a duration. So I cannot go out and hire a brand new driver and say hey listen driver you I will train you but you have to work here for the next two years there's absolutely no recourse you're not allowed to do that here in Canada you cannot withhold anybody from leaving a trucking company turnaround um, is very big within the trucking uh, industry and especially drivers so no we as trucking companies are not allowed to withhold somebody nor can we make them sign that hey you know we'll train you as a brand new driver but you have to stay here for minimum two years there's no such thing that stuff doesn't exist so because that doesn't exist and larger carriers do not want to deal with the amount that's involved with training these drivers especially when there's no guarantee of a duration and that's why a lot of companies are steering away from brand new drivers I know that we here at ET Transport we do not recruit brand new drivers we have no training program for them um, very rarely do we make an exception when one of our owner operators when they want somebody to tag along with them they're willing to take a student on themselves but that's a four month um, you know training program and and the driver literally is with his instructor for literally four months every and shadows and shadows that driver those are really the biggest reasons why uh, trucking companies will not recruit brand new drivers but what are you supposed to do as a brand new driver or a lot of people are really getting upset at there's a lot of Canadian trucking companies that are bringing foreigners here into Canada or in the US and they're allowing them to they're taking their work from back home as experience and allowing them to drive the trucks and they feel like it's not fair yes it's a hundred percent not fair and I think that the system is completely messed up I mean I personally think that if you want me to hire brand new drivers and if you want me to take drivers on myself then help put the insurance up for them I mean if you're the Canadian government that's throwing away so much money at these drivers that's throwing throwing you know for their training for their courses you know what, why don't you give me an insurance policy that will cover these drivers so my insurance won't get affected by taking these brand new drivers and yeah, then I would consider it. And I think all the trucking companies are in the exact same situation. We don't want our insurance because it's a fortune our insurance for these trucks and any little thing that a new driver does then we have to pay it in premiums now the the Canadian government they're not stepping in and saying okay you know what here's an insurance policy that will cover these drivers or we'll cough up the bill nobody's saying that they just want to throw money at you to hire these new drivers so I do feel like that's wrong I feel like you know the money could be spent a lot better here in Canada on training brand new drivers and actually getting them a placement I feel like that could be done uh, if the right people were running the show but right as a right now yes they prefer to bring foreign drivers here into Canada and not actually address the problem that we have with our immigration and not actually address the problem that we cannot hire brand new drivers so what are you supposed to do as a brand new driver and here's what you guys have all been waiting for how in the world are you gonna find a job as a newly licensed driver so number one you need to look for a company that services the West Coast so if you're here in the GTA or if you're down east or if you're you know out west you want to find a company that services long haul not short haul not regional you need something that is long haul now once you find a company that is long haul and they have teams in their fleet okay that is your entryway that's how you're gonna get into it best to look for a carrier that has over 50 trucks and that has a blanket insurance very very important you want to get into a company that has a blanket insurance because if they're a smaller carrier they're not gonna be able to insure you and if they are a smaller carrier they have under 10 trucks I can assure you that their policy is minimum hiring drivers with two years of experience so something is happening in that company where they're able to hire you they're really not allowed to hire you a lot of these companies that have 50 plus trucks they have teams they will put you or they have these driver trainers that are willing to take you on board yes it's going to be a learning curve for you yes you're not gonna make all the money in the world yes 
Um, you know, there's a lot of downfalls to these training programs, but it's the means to your end goal, which is becoming a solo truck driver. And if you have to, uh, you know, bite your tongue for three, four months and to sit with somebody, yes, they're going to be extremely long trips. Yes, you're going to be on the road for a long time, but that's the only way you're going to gain your experience. And that's the only way a different company is going to hire you. Another thing that I can honestly say that it might actually be better for you to get your license through a mega carrier, because if you get your license through a mega carrier, that mega carrier most likely is going to hire you as a driver and they already have these training manuals and they already have these driver trainers in place so that's probably the best way to get your license and it's probably the best way to get your first job all right so we talked about why companies do not recruit drivers newly licensed drivers now we talked about how to get your license but now let's talk about what are you to expect in your first three months of working as a newly licensed driver so you are going to get the minimum pay for a truck driver for your training yes you're not going to get a full pay yes you know the going rate right now for team drivers is probably um, you know I don't even know because we don't have teams so I don't even know what the going rate is but you are not gonna get a full pay for your first three months you can also expect to be on the roads for a long period of time so one week on the road two weeks on the road two and a half weeks on the road before you get back home before you have your few days off uh, for those of you that are doing cross-border very very important that you learn properly how to cross the border the paperwork that is involved the customs the, the dispatch um, uh, you know the hours of service there's so much for you to be taught on your first three months um, that you really need a good driver trainer do not um, you know if somebody's willing to hire you and put you on the road as a solo driver you are putting yourself at risk and you are putting the lives of others at risk and do not do it because there are some horror stories out there of people that have died the people have um, you know really bad things happening on a, a driver's you know first few trips when they're going out solo you need the proper training before you go out there on your own hopefully this uh, this video helped you find your first job as a newly licensed driver if you are a newly licensed driver congratulations and welcome to our industry and make sure you're a subscriber to this channel because this channel is all about trucking hold on hold on one second do you have a product device app or technology that can help our North American truck drivers well if you do you can be a sponsor in one of our next videos with over 90,000 truck drivers a part of our channel and over half a million views monthly i'd like to bring your product to life email us at sponsorship at ettransport.ca and now back to that video